Hi, my name is Andrew Berry and welcome to At The Bench's YouTube channel. If this is your first visit and you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. But let's get on and roll that introduction. So I've got a little bit of work to do. It's it's Sunday morning, it's Christmas time, and I'm busy working. I've got a bit of square section wire here that we're going to be uh, drawing down into some round wire. Now, when we need to put it through some draw plates, uh, draw plate, this is a round draw plate, as you can see. And we need to get the wire into the draw plate to be able to pull it through, you're drawing down wire. Now, this is square section, about 2.5, 2.4, 2.5 millimeter square. I want to take this down to around about two millimeter. And so I need to be able to put it through the draw plate, but I gotta put a taper onto the end of this piece of wire. So the taper goes through to the other side of the draw plate so I can grab onto it with the draw tongs, pull it through. Now there are three different ways to put a taper onto this square wire, which I will show you this very moment. So obviously the first way is bash it with a hammer. You need to take off these corners, these edges here, so you can simply come along, just hammer them. Straighten out the wire a bit. And just take off the edges, just to round the wire off. You wanna make a gradual taper running up the piece. And you can keep on turning that, turn that as you go along. Nice gradual taper. So when we get our our draw plate here, we choose one that it doesn't quite go through, which is basically number 19 there. We can put this through now, and as you can see where we've hammered it, it comes through. So the other way of doing that is to basically file it by hand. Put it up onto your bench peg and file exactly what we've just done to the hammering, we will file a tapered wedge, tapered taper along that piece of wire. So this is our bench peg, bit of a taper on this bench peg here. So we get our metal, we hold it and you file. You don't file evenly along it, you file more so on the one end. And again, you are just filing off those corners. So you file more on the ends than down here. This is a bit more of a wasteful approach because you're filing and you're getting all your bits of lemel. So hammering it is a good, better way than this way. You can hammer and then you grab your draw plate again. Other side of the workshop. And that will actually go through like that. And then you can start to put it through. It'll go down through the 20 as well. And you can now pull that through with your draw tongs. And then the third way of putting a nice taper upon this piece of metal is to use your rolling mill. Now, not everybody has a rolling mill, so the first two methods would be your best bet. Let me just show you how to do it then with a rolling mill. And now, with the rolling mill, you'd get your square section wire, you'd put it through the square sections until it just goes in. Then we'll bring it onto the next one and we'll put it in and we'll just turn the handle slightly so it goes in a little bit, bring it back out. Turn it around 90 degrees, put it in, put it through again. And I would take that down roughly about, about an inch or so. Then what I would do is perhaps release or increase the gap slightly here, take it down through the next square, put it in and just take it through about half that distance, bring it out to it 90 degrees, put it back in again, half that distance, tighten up the rolls so they come down nice and close, perhaps even take it up to the next one along, put it in and take it through a little bit more, about a quarter of the distance this time, turn it over 90 degrees, put it back in and so forth. And that then will produce a nice, I want to focus on my hand here. There we go. And that will produce a nice taper 
along your piece of wire. So when you work the metal, you actually work hard on it. Now, if you've rolled it or you've hammered it, you need to anneal that end section just to make it soft again. If you've filed it, it doesn't matter. You haven't worked hard on it. But the idea is if you don't anneal the end and it's still hard from when you've hammered it or rolled it and you put it through the draw plate, your draw tongs will not be able to grab onto it tightly enough and put it through because the metal is hard and the serrated ends on your draw tongs you can just see the serrations on the draw tongs there they won't be able to basically have a good grip on that bit of wire if you anneal it it's nice and soft they'll be able to grab onto it and you'll be able to pull that wire through the draw plate nice and easily so there we go three ways that you can put a good taper onto the end of your square wire before you draw it through a draw plate my name is Andrew Berry for At The Benches YouTube channel. Don't forget, please subscribe if you haven't done so already. I'd love you to. Don't forget to like us and also click the bell notification if you want to be notified when films go live on our YouTube channel. Give us a thumbs up and I'll see you on the next film. Take care. Bye-bye.